from Link Handmade. Hey guys, Croft back. On today's episode, we're going to have a custom igloo in your Minecraft world. So, let's get right into it. Real quick, before we get into the video, I just want to say, only 3.9% of people who watch my channel are subscribed. So, go, to, go down to the comment section or whatever and click subscribe so we can get those numbers up. So you guys can watch more of my content and, look, and improve your own abilities. So, now, let's get right into it. The structure was added in Minecraft 1.9 in 2016, almost four or five years ago. And it looks pretty basic, so I decided to renovate it and add some of my own improvements to make the design look a lot cooler. So let's get into all the improvements. I First thing I want to do to the new igloo is to increase its size compared to the base game igloo. I did this by making it a lot taller, by extending the front portion of it to give it a more pronounced look. So let's get into, let's now get and see what I did on the inside. Approaching the front of the igloo, I have a nice slope structure leading up to iron iron doors and stone pressure plates. With a nice soul lantern on the outside. So let's walk in and see what we got. Walk in, I add some nice ice um, windows. Walking into the main room, it's a giant mess of a bunch of different details and textures that bring the whole build together. Now let's break these down one by one. And the first major area is a living area. I add some red beds, some anvils, some cake, and a couple other couple other things like a bell and some suit of netherite armor. After this, I want to focus on this kind of chill area. So I added a nice quartz table with a little chair. And I use some invisible item frames. I'm sorry, you can't use those in survival. Throw some golden apples, some bows, and embedded some skulls. After that, I made a little cooking area. I accomplished this by using a furnace, some detector rails, as well as some iron trap doors. This is a nice little look, not very original, but it's, I like it. I then used some smooth quartz as the vent. Of course, I also made a little sink with a cauldron. After that, a couple other more details I threw in. I threw in some twisted vines, I threw in some cobwebs, and I threw in a little light up here if it gets dark. And of course, the main light source in this area are these soul lanterns. Okay, let's take a look at the outside of the structure. Now, the first thing I did was build two large spruce trees. Now, you can see how I build these in my tree building tutorial, which I made a very long time ago. I also changed up by taking advantage of the invisible item frames to throw in a couple little pieces of glowstone and mushrooms so a little like apples or something in the trees. I also threw in a couple little um, spruce leaves on fences as some little saplings. After I did that, I added some little pillars, some little lighting sources just surrounding the whole base to make it really shine in the distance. After I did that, I looked at the natural train around the build. I replaced all these all these dirt blocks with snow and made a le nice level to sheets of snow slabs to really give it a nice gradual snowy look. After that, I built this little ice pond just looping around the base. And lastly, I built some towers of snow and a tower of ice, reminiscent of a ice pillar biome. That's basically all I did on the outside, but I think these couple of details really make the build look a lot nicer. And of course, with the actual igloo itself, I use a lot of uh, snow slabs to give it a nice, really messed up, natural look. Okay guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode with my custom igloo. You know, I, really, I really like remaking Minecraft builds, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, group dismissed.